Spence Hegner, Operations Manager of Cedar Eaters of Texas. We primarily stay focused in cedar clearing using our mulching machines, hand crews, skid steers to kind of aid the mulching machine in getting material out into the open to where we can get to it so we don't damage trees or damage the machine by working on too much rock. You have more opportunities to be more selective about what you clear, you know. You don't get that with a dozer, but you do get that with mulching. With mulching, it's a, it's a one and done method. I mean, we come out there, we mulch the tree, it turns into mulch, and it lays out over the ground, and it looks perfect. You don't ever have to come back to it. You just let the ground be returned to its natural condition. Whereas with a dozer, there's a lot more involved as far as recovery, you know, because you, you're stripping the land and you have nothing on top of the soil to protect it. Well, our mulching machines are outfitted with those Fecon cutting heads. Those cutting heads spin at 1800 RPMs and we, they're about eight feet wide. And when we drive into a tree, it basically just obliterates the tree and turns it into mulch right as it stands. Well, we can control the quality of the mulch by however many back drags we do. So if you're in a big ranch situation, um, we're probably not going to go real fine with the mulch just because we're trying to get as much land as possible. But if we're in more of a residential situation, we might back drag uh, several times in order to get the mulch a little bit finer, a little bit finer, a little bit finer. And we're going to go in and we're going to open up what we can with the mulching machine and what we can't get to with the mulching machine. We're going to send our hand crew in and we're going to take the hand crew and they're going to cut out from underneath the trees. They're going to cut out of the rocky ridges, create these wind road piles, and then we'll come back and mulch them. Cedar can consume up to 50,000 gallons of water per year. If you look at these trees, they're like upside down funnels. You know, so they are really good at catching the water and not letting it hit the ground. If you look at an oak tree, an oak tree sheds water and it sheds it down onto its root system. Outside of mulching, you're going to end up with piles, the piles that have to be burned or gotten rid of somehow. With mulching, it's a one-step process. When we're done, you're done.